I really do think self-care is one of the best investments that you can make for yourself. If you're new here and if you're not, hi, welcome back. For today's video, as you guys heard by the title, I'm going to be doing a glow up with me video because I'm going on a trip somewhere at the end of this month and I'm so excited. And by the way, this isn't face grease. I still have makeup on it. It's actually a $50 highlighter, so don't come at me. I actually had an intro filmed, but like an idiot, I deleted it on accident. So here I am recording this at 4 a.m. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. This whole chair is vibrating. Thank you so much to Nada for being the sponsor of this portion of the video. This season equates to just me taking time for myself. So when I look for body washes, especially in the summertime, I look for something that smells good and something with clean ingredients. You list all the ingredients for you on the back in simple terms. I personally really love the smell of coconut for the summertime. Of course, I had to pick out a clean scent because I'm obsessed. The sweet peach and nectar scent just smells super fruity and sweet. And my skin feels soft and hydrated and froths up into a luxurious lather without any sulfated surfacants. For me, most importantly, it makes me smell good even after I wash it off. They also sell deodorants, which I always use in my vlogs, and also hand and body lotions. They offer so many different scents, and recently, Native just launched their candy shop collection. This collection offers products with Native spin on some of your favorite candies, so they all smell super sweet and delightful. So you guys can use the code DAYS2 to get 20% off your first purchase with Native. This offer is available site-wide, but for a very limited time. So stock up and save on your new self-care products, and also don't miss out on their limited edition scents. This is the final result. It's so cute. Wow, she actually slayed. Oh my god. Good morning, everyone. It is the next morning. My face is really puffy. I could barely even open my eyes this morning, but um, yeah, yesterday I got my nails done. <coughs> so pretty. I haven't had long nails in such a long time because I used to get acrylics all the time like last year and they were extremely damaged So I let my nails just breathe for a few months. You guys can't tell right now because I'm wearing makeup obviously, but I recently popped my own pimples and they all got infected. So there's one right over here like two over here two on my forehead so i try my best to cover them up but without makeup my skin is quite irritated and it's not in its best condition so i'm gonna be going to go get a hydrofacial today which i'm really excited about i honestly don't even know what exactly it is but i just know it exfoliates your skin and gets out all the junk so that is exactly what i need so i recently purchased two of these peripera lip tints off of amazon they got here like two days ago and i just opened it but this is ink velvet 17 it's one of their best-selling products the second color i think i like this one a lot more 
This is in the shade 24 and it's the, from their nude collection. And it's like the perfect beige color. It looks really corally on camera, but on the lips, it just looks like a my lips, but better or like a, or even like a rosy beige. Okay, now I'm at Sephora. I was gonna do some research on Google, but my data isn't working. So I'm just gonna go into the store and just roam around to see what we can find. Oh my God, I had a lipstick color that looked similar to this one. Oh, it's right here. This was my favorite lipstick. I don't know where it went, so. This is the Brow Duo powder that I use, but I do think it's a bit too dark. So I've been looking into eyebrow gels. Oh my God, I stopped by at home because I need to take off my skin makeup before my appointment so that's what I'm going to be doing right now Let me quickly show you guys some of the things that I got from Sephora First, I got a eyebrow pencil that's a lot lighter than the one that I used to use It's in the shade medium brown And I got an eyebrow gel in the shade nutmeg brown and i got the nars concealer that i'm really excited about they really give out chanel facial cleansers for their customers what the heck this is the place that i got my nails done so i'm so excited to be back because it feels so homey here all the workers here are Chinese and they're all so sweet. You get to be in like this private room. Oh God. You see what I mean? I've been breaking out a little. Wow, this makeup remover is really good. I have like six different eyebrow products in my eyebrows right now. Today we are doing the deluxe hydrofacial for you. Mm -hmm. Those are some questions we have signed before. We are using the bright note to help the acne scarring and oh. also the brightening of the skin. Yay. You will feel maybe a little bit tingling. It's gonna help brightening all the skin. Oh, okay. Like Whitehead extractions are like really rough on the skin, but yeah. this was like nothing. Sealed all the serum inside. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, I know. My skin feels so soft, and there used to be like whitehead bumps around my nose and my chin. Oh my god, it's all gone. Do you see the glow? It's a little red right now still, but. Honestly, you guys, I was never the type of person to like nap all the time, but it's become a daily habit because I'm gonna go work out now to stop feeling so crusty. I do think having a cute workout set can be a good motivator for you to actually get out of your bed. So this whole set is from Lululemon. <laughs> And I completed my night skincare routine because my skin felt really dry as soon as I stepped out of the shower. But I really wanted to try this ba oh, I said baby boba milk tea mochi that I brought home from the spa. Mm -hmm. It has a piece of boba in it. 
I wanted to whiten my teeth with you guys, so this is the one that I got in my previous video, but I've been using it every night. I also wanted to do this, which is a Nair hair removal cream, but I'm not supposed to use anything really harsh on the skin after I get a hydrofacial, so I'm gonna skip on this for now. Okay, I'm supposed to leave this on for 30 minutes. I can't even talk right now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just trying to be gentle with my skin because of the hydrofacial that I got yesterday. I'm trying to depuff my face while I'm at it. So I recently found out that you're not supposed to apply makeup directly on freshly applied skincare. So I'll see you guys in like 10 or 15 minutes. My skincare has mostly absorbed into my skin and it's not feeling sticky anymore. Just a few days ago, I organized my... Oh! I organized my vanity for the most part. A little tour of my vanity. I have everything organized in the order that I do my makeup. So I have all my skin makeup here. And then here's like the contour, the blushes and highlighters. Here are the eyeshadows that I usually use. All my lip glosses are here. In the back are just like all the messy stuff that I just didn't know where to put. So for this part of the video, we're doing a makeup transformation. So let's go pick out my colored contacts together. I'm also going to be using some of the makeup products that I haven't even touched before So the one that I have been using for the past few days is called the Moonlight Grey and it's from Olin's um, It's very pretty for daily contacts because they look really similar to my natural eye colors But I think for this makeup transformation, I want to use green contacts This one's really good, Russian Velvet in green This one is the one that Lisa uses, I believe, Scandi Olive What one shall we use? Spanish gray contacts from Olin's are really pretty too. I really recommend this one. So I've chosen to use Russian velvet in green. So to prep the skin, I'm going to be using two different types of primers. This one is a pore filling one and this one is just like a hydro grip. So I'm going to be using this one around my nose and the hydro grip and my cheeks. Um, when it comes to pot concealers, I like to use it under my foundation um, because it's so full coverage and if needed, I'll do a little bit on top, but... And then I'm gonna use the foundation that I always use, which is the Clio foundation. But I'm gonna make sure that I don't use too much of this because we don't want cakey skin. But something that I'm realizing more and more as I grow older is that investing in yourself and how you look is genuinely one of the best investments that you can make. If you're like under 15, I think you should just be focusing on having fun and like being a kid. But I'm 20, so I'm just speaking on my personal opinions and how I think about like my age group. That concealer did a really good job. Now that it is all blended, I'm going to go in with a Fix Setting Spray. And just let my skin makeup dry before I powder it. I usually only use like ash black or ash gray tones, but this is like pure brown. So I'm excited to see how it looks. Still looks a little dark, but not too bad. I'm going to be using the eyebrow gel and see how that looks. I just finished both the eyebrows and I think I'm gonna return the shade that I got for a lighter one because it still looks really dark. You always need to pick out a contour stick that has a very cool undertone, otherwise it's just gonna look like bronzer. Let's check out the eyeshadow palette. So here is the first option. This one looks a little too warm. Ooh, this one's fun, but not going for this vibe. That one's really pretty. I don't know what this is. I think it's a blush. Honestly, I'm not very good at eyeshadow. My eye makeup just revolves around eyeliner and eyelashes, so I don't really like to use a lot of eyeshadow anyways. But I do use this shade as a base for the Eggyosad. And this is my favorite Eggyosad pencil of all time. It's from Korea. The I also contour- Oh, And I like to contour the ends of my double eyelids. 
Um, every clear eyeshadow palette comes with a brush, but they're pretty good quality, so I just use it to blend it out. And then I use this one from MAC Cosmetics, Lunar Lights. It is so freaking pretty. These are the eyelashes that I'm going to be using. They're from AliExpress. Um, so I'll put these right on and draw my eyeliner on and I'll be right back. For my nose contour, I just do it right here. I saw this trick on TikTok where you, you can see. And don't apply nose contour here. Rather just focus it on these four spots. And then just blend in the middle. And I have a pretty short nose, so what I like to do is I like to contour right over here. There's not much time left on this SD card. I don't have a backup SD card, so I'm gonna finish this up really quick. And yeah, contour right there elongates your face. And then I use some of the brightening powder to bake my nose bridge. And I like this blush from Flower Nose. It's like a perfect strawberry milk color. And then I'm gonna be going in with like a darker blush and apply this around my lips. It just looks really pretty and it makes your lips look a lot bigger. When I overline my lips, I always focus it right here because I do think my lips are pretty plump and I love the size of it. But I think it can be a little short this way. So I'm gonna be using the lip tint that I purchased off of Amazon. I think I'm just gonna leave my lips matte for today because the lip color is really pretty. Just highlighting my nose using the same highlighter that we used on the Vegas hair. Set my face. But yeah, this is the completed makeup look. My hair feels really healthy, my nails are so pretty, and my skin is glowing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed glowing up with me. If you guys did, you guys can also check me out on Instagram. And yeah, that was about it. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you gotta say.